Hello everyone, True here, back with another video. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. And before we get into today's deck, please remember to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, and keep in mind you can always unsubscribe as well. And then please drop a like on today's video. It really helps this video get shared with other people. And um, yeah, with all of that being said, let's hop into today's video. So this deck um, centers around Vika Volt V. Vika Volt V was very hyped up before rotation. Having access to Thunder Mountain meant you could pull pull off a very um, easy turn one paralyzing bolt for 50 damage and item lock your opponent, and then from there just uh, outpace your opponent because they're item locked and they can't really hit anything. They can't play Quick Balls. They can't play Pokecom. They can't get anything basically. And um, paralyzing bolt was super powerful. But now that Thunder Mountain is gone, Vika Volt V is a little bit weaker. Um, but Nonetheless, it is still very strong. Um, that's what I found out when testing this deck um, because we still have access to Turbo Patch um, and Tapu Koko Prism Star. Um, and the idea is to go second, pull off the Eternal and Paralyzing Bolt, utilizing either one, uh, either Tapu Koko or Order Patch um, to charge up um, the second energy on the Vika Volt V and um, just win the game from there. And um, in addition, uh, we can use Super Zap Cannon if we really want to, to uh, one-shot something um, after we Paralyzing Bolted it a few times. And um, Super Zap Cannon for 3 energy is 190 damage, discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Pretty darn good. Um, not the best attack, but certainly a pretty good attack. Um, and in combo with Vika Volt V, we are playing Crushing Hammers now. Crushing Hammers are extremely annoying to deal with. and while you're item locking your opponent, you're also removing their energy and we're just giving our opponent a really hard time. And in addition to crushing hammers, we also play the Giratina to remove special energies. This is especially useful in the Scent of Scorch matchup um, if they ever play uh, Heat Fire energy or against um, Eternatus, which does play Capture energy and Hiding Dark, at least some lists do. Um, and Giratina is just a pretty good inclusion because we also play Scoop Up Net. Um, Scoop Up Net allows us to abuse Jirachis, and because we play Scoop Up Net, I decided to include a one of a Zigzagoon, uh, just because it can sometimes come in handy. Uh, the 10 damage, um, you never know, it definitely could. And for our um, draw support Pokemon, we play four Jirachis. We definitely want the most consistency possible to pull off that turn one, the Paralyzing Bolt. We play one Dedenne GX, one Crobat V, and one Eldegoss V. Um, I'm thinking about cutting the Dedenne GX for a second Crobat. Um, that might be a little bit better, but uh, for now, it's one Dedenne, one Crobat. Uh, we play four Quick Balls, two Stamps. Two Stamps is especially important because uh, later in the game, if your opponent's ever ahead, you can stamp them, you can boss something up, and um, just get ahead of the prize trade. So Reset Stamp, definitely very powerful in this deck. We play 4 Scoop Up Net, 4 Switch, 4 order, four Turbo Patches, not Order Patches. Um, we play 1 of Bird Keeper because it's a really nice switching option to have. 2 Bosses, two bosses Orders, 4 Marnie, 4 Research, 2 Cape of Toughness just to make our Vika Volt Vs a bit more tanky. Um, 3 speed lightning energy and 8 lightning energy. The reason I'm not playing 4 speed lightning is because we don't have room for the 4th and um, you definitely want to uh, have more lightning um, energies to work with in order to discard it early game to pull off that turn 1 paralyzing bullet. Um, that's the reason we don't play uh, 7 lightning and 4 speed lightning. And that's all I have to say for the deck and let's hop into some games. Alright so hopping into our first game against GNR Fan uh, 42789. Good luck to him or her. And we do lose the coin flip. Hopefully, we do uh, go second. Um, our opponent gets to choose. And yes, we are going second. So um, that's definitely what we want. We are taking a mulligan. That's fine. Nothing we can do about it. Um, we don't really reveal much about the deck. Um, they can probably assume from the t Cape of Toughness and Turbo Patch that we are playing Vika Volt, but um, they, they might not. So uh, let's see what our starting hand looks like. Thank goodness we went uh, second, I guess, because we started with three Marnies in our hand. Um, I'm definitely going to Marnie, I think, because um, we don't want to research away three Marnies. So. And it looks like we're up against ADPZ. We have a hammer uh, to work off of and just a pass from our opponent. Now I sort of want to research now because our opponent obviously doesn't have the strongest starting hand. Um, start off with the Stellar Wish because we want a Quick Ball to uh, Quick Ball with the Lightning Energy attached to Speed Lightning and go from there. 
So uh, Stellar Wish, there's the Quick Ball. All right, that's exactly what we wanted. That can get us out of Vika Volt V, um, Quick Ball with the Lightning Energy because we can we need to um, we need a Coco Prismet back onto a Vika Volt V or a Turbo Patch it. Um, let's see what we prized here. Uh, I didn't prize any draw supporters. Prized two energies, um, two basic lightning energies. Um, prized the net, prized the switch. Um, I think that's it. Uh, prized our Eldegoss as well. Okay, pricing the Eldegoss is definitely something to note. Um, play the Crushing Hammer, uh, see if it hits heads. It doesn't, that's fine. Uh, bench the Vika Volt V, attach the Speed Lightning. Um, there's a Quick Ball and another Crushing Hammer. Let's see if this one hits heads. Um, it hits tails, unfortunately. So here we can quick ball away the Marnie. And I'm actually going to grab the Coco Prism Star here just to guarantee to turn one uh, Paralyzing Bolt. And I think I'm just going to research. Um, sucks getting rid of so many Marnies. Um, and we don't have Eldegoss to work with. But um, I definitely 100% do not want to help my opponent by Marnieing them. Because uh, we know they don't have a Zacian. <clears throat> excuse me. We know they don't have a Zacian in hand because they would have benched it and um, and most likely Intrepid Sworded so that's the reasoning behind that um, uh, the Turbo Patch failed I'm just gonna dance of the Ancients now um, charge up this Vika Volt V um, and uh, just turn one Paralyzing Bolt and uh, we're pretty set up now um, is there any reason to Crobat here? Um, I don't really think so I mean we already switched um, is there anything else we could want this turn? I don't think so. We could dig for more hammers, to be honest. Um, I don't know how necessary that is. I'm just gonna go with the Paralyzing Bolt here and, um, see what our opponent has going for them. Hopefully it's, um, another pass. That would be greatly appreciated, but they went first. They definitely could have a draw supporter in hand. Um, yeah, super good we, that we managed to pull off the turn one item on. There is the boss's orders from our opponent. Looks like they're sort of stuck right now and, um, we have the switch in hand to work with, so if our opponent um, doesn't do anything their next turn, they're in big trouble. And because they didn't bench anything, um, they probably need to top deck a basic Pokemon because we're about to item lock them again. Um, unless we can pull off, um, unless we can draw into all, all of our Zigzagoons um, and all of our three scoop up nets, we can't win the game this turn. So I think I start off with the Viridian. Do I want to? What do I want to thin? Uh, probably start off by thinning a research here. Um, taking a lightning energy. Um, where do I attach here? I think I attach to this Vika Volt. Um, play the switch. And uh, do I Crobat now? I think it's fine playing Crobat. Um, I'm going to bench this Jirachi and then Crobat. See what we draw into. Um, yep, play the Crobat. Um, the uh, not the strongest hand uh, has the Cape of Toughness to I can actually I want to hold on to this hand just in case they boss something else we have access to Bird Keeper which is pretty cool and um, I'm just gonna go with the Paralyzing Bolt and um, see if our opponent can top deck out of their terrible draw now a really good top deck for them would be Zacian V that would be the absolute savior for them as um as they can ultimate rate to it they get rid of a great catcher okay um let's see uh if they have anything there's the crowbat v from our opponent it looks like they top deck that that's sort of unfortunate for us but uh, if they have to ultimate rate to this um i'm i'm all for that um believe me so um yeah uh, i think we're sitting in a pretty good spot there's another rcs dialga and palkia however um, that's sort of unfortunate. There's the boss on our Crobat. Okay, so, um, our opponent is up and doing things. Um, they likely only play one more water though, so if we can hit a Crushing Hammer and hammer off the water, that would be pretty sweet. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, we're gonna rely on a Crushing ha We definitely want to hit a Crushing Hammer soon, and, um, can stamp our opponent th to three cards and take a knockout with Super Zap Cannon. Um, that's our game plan now. So, start off with the Stellar Wish here. Take the Crushing Hammer, as we were talking about. That's definitely what we... Oh, uh, no, I, I misplayed. I should have attached the Speed Lightning first and uh, started off with that, but uh, it's fine. We hit what we needed. Um, should have actually Viridian as well. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so, let's start off. Let's, let's do the Viridian thing. 
um, get out this lightning energy attached to this Geek of Volt V. Um, yeah, we definitely want two to work with, so I'm gonna do that. Draw into a couple of more cards. Play the Crushing Hammer. Um, yep, we hit heads, get rid of that water for sure. And then we have one more hammer to work with. So if we hit heads, and if they do play the third water, um, we definitely can hammer that off and hopefully um, hopefully make our opponent struggle a little bit more. So I'm going to stamp our opponent two, three cards here. Um, hopefully brick them a little. Um, play the Bird Keeper, go into our Jirachi, draw three cards. Um, play the Turbo Patch. Um, Tails, that's a little unfortunate. Let's Stellar Wish here. Take another Turbo Patch. Um, let's see if we hit... Do Actually, I might want to hold on to it. Um, hmm. Do I want to play the Turbo Patch now? Um, well, we're for sure going to scoop up Net the Active, so I'm going to start off with that. Promote this Vika Volt V. Bench this Jirachi because there's really not a reason not to. Um, and... Um, do we want to do... Um, hmm decisions decisions um, i'm gonna play the turbo patch now um we flipped tails unfortunately so it didn't really matter we're gonna super zap cannon take a knockout on our opponent's active rc's dialga and palkia and uh, let's see let's see what they have going for them let's see if they play that third water or not um if they do it could be prize um hopefully it is there's a boss's orders from the prize cards there's the eldegoss um that's pretty cool and there's a switch all right um, hopefully we don't get stamped ourselves. They promote the Crobat. That's pretty interesting. I guess they have a draw supporter and they want to uh, saucer to a Zacian V. Hopefully and win the game from there. There's a stamp from our opponent themselves. That's not good for us uh, at all. There's a quick ball though, so we can grab a Dedene. But we definitely don't want to bench the Dedene, so it's super scary now. Um, we only want to bench the Dedene if we're going for game. That's for sure. So... Um, let's see if our opponent has anything. There's the air balloon to the Crobat V. Um, do they have, um, just a pass. All right. Um, it looks like they probably don't play the water because they didn't reinforce. So we can actually boss this up and start hitting it. I think I actually like doing that. So I'm going to boss up the ADP, um, Viridian force away the Garatina, get a lightning energy and, um, start punching this guy. Um, I ha there's no reason why my opponent would not have uh, punched my Vika Volt V last turn had they had the water energy. And um, yeah, now we're just going to item lock them and um, go from there. So let's, let's, I don't know if my opponent can really do anything. Um, if both of their waters are in the discard pile um, and they don't play a third, I think we sort of just win here. There's the Viridian from our opponent. Um, there's some metal energy. They can retreat here. But and just to pass from our opponent again, um, we can hold on. Um, we can hold off on playing the hammer. I think um, no real reason because we have quick ball for. Uh, do we have boss in this card? Yes, we do. So we can quick ball for Eldegoss next turn. Um, once they retreat this and just use super zap cannon on it, that's gonna be our game plan. And um, yeah, I think we're. I, do I want the Viridian Forest? Um, how many order patches are we down? We're down three. Um, I think I'll hold off on doing everything and just, um, I really, I should Viridian, but I don't know what to Viridian away here. Everything feels pretty good. Um, probably gonna be the hammer, actually. Um, just grab a lightning energy, um, commit to the active or commit to the bench. Um, I think committing to the bench might be a little bit better in case they boss it up. But I don't know if that even makes a difference because we'll just item lock them again. Um, I know we have one lightning left in deck. Um, I think I just attach to the bench and just uh, go for the paralyzing bolt again. And um, hopefully uh, I was not mistaken. Uh, four or five. Um, unless hopefully three light. Yeah, we price two lightning energies. I remember I, remember I said that in the beginning. We have one in deck. We can Viridian Force away our top deck for a quick ball for an Eldegoss and then win the game from there. And there's a concession from our opponent. Um, they dead drew off of our stamp, and then we drew pretty well off, off of our stamp, off of their stamp. So that's pretty cool. And that's going to be game one against ADPZ, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, so hopping into our next game against E Tao. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, good luck to him or her. And, um,
We did lose the coin flip. Hopefully we're going second. I'm assuming we're up against Moist Mewtwo um, from the Keldeo deck box and the Blastoise coin um, and the Milotic sleeve. So um, I definitely could be wrong though. So uh, the starting hand is pretty good. Um, we can thin down our hand and uh, commit to a Crobat, which is pretty nice. Um, we have six cards in hand. We top deck at seven. We can get rid of Goon, Coco. Um, yeah, we can, and there's the Inteleon V from our opponent. Um, we can act if they just pass, no, they didn't just pass. All right, they have a Zigzagoon. I was going to say, we could dig for the Donk on this if we hit, um, a bunch of Turbo Patches and Coke and, uh, our Tapu, if we hit a Turbo Patch, um, an Attachment, and we already have the Tapu Coco Prism Star in hand, we could win the game, but, uh, looks like our opponent's uh, pretty set up here. We definitely have matchup, I ima I would imagine, because we're up against water. Hopefully, we don't brick too hard. Um, just a pass from our opponent. All right, we will take it. Um, do I bench the Coco Prism Star now? I think I do. Um, Zigzagoon, Ping, probably the Snom, I would imagine. Um, just in case you don't pull it off, we might be able to uh, pull off some mad scoop of net combos, I guess. Um, I think I have to start off with this, uh, well, I didn't mean to bench that, but I was going to bench it anyway, so that's fine. We can ping this nom. Um, Stellar Wish looking for a quick ball. Ooh, no quick ball to work with. Alright, that's a little bit shaky, I'm not going to lie. Um, what? Uh, I, think, I don't want to take anything here, to be honest. I think I'm just going to fail the Stellar Wish. Don't want to clunk up my hand. Um, hmm. Do we do switch into Zigzagoon, I guess, and then Crobat for three? Doesn't feel great, but it's what we have to do. Um, there's a Vikavolt V. Um, do we. Uh, I think I actually um, attach to the active, scoop up net the bench, Jirachi retreat, and hope for a draw supporter. I think I like that a little bit better. Um, so net the Jirachi here. Um, retreat, so we get a Lightning Energy in the discard pile, and Stellar Wish. Um, ah, man, um, we're not drawing too well here. Um, what do we take? Probably the cape, I guess. Um, man, this is not, uh, we're not drawing too well here. Two stellar wishes, no access to draw supporters, so, um, it's tempting to take the switch. Um, but I think I'm gonna settle, um, for the cape of toughness. Um, I would imagine. Yeah, we're just going to take the Cape of cape of Toughness here. Um, do I use the Coco Prism Star now? I guess I do. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use Dance of the Ancients now. Um, charge up our Vikavolt V here. Um, I, uh, I've already attached, so there's no... Uh, attach the Cape here and pass to our opponent. And hope they don't have the knockout, basically, because we definitely want access to another Stellar Wish. That would be absolutely lovely. So hopefully we um, top deck something or get a draw supporter off of Stellar Wish. There's the attachment to our opponent's active Inteleon V. There's the air balloon to the active um, Inteleon V. There's the training court um, and the Dede change. All right. Um, they get rid of two waters. Um, hopefully they whiff the Frost Moth here. That would be um, very good for us and the knockout in general. Um, there's the Inteleon VMAX, so now they need a scoop of net to take a KO on our Jirachi. Um, they get a water energy back from the discard pile. Actually, all they need is a switch now. They can switch um, into like any of their bench Pokemon. Um, there's the Calm. Um, they can get out the Frost Moth now. Um, geez, we need... Uh, it looks... They, all they need to do is retreat um, and switch, but it looks like they're charging up this guy, so... Um, if they have three energies in hand, that works. Um, they definitely can. Just a Hydro Snipe from our opponent. Thank goodness they whiffed the knockout. Hopefully, uh, there's a switch. Alright. Um, start off with the Stellar Wish. Um, there's a Quick Ball that can get us a Day Day Change. Hopefully, it's not prized. Um, that would be really uh, good for us. Uh, quick Ball away the Lightning Energy because we can get it back with Training Court. And then there's the, the Dene. Alright, I don't want to bench the, the Dene at all because they just one hit KO it with Hydro Snipe. But I'm afraid it's sort of kind of what we have to do now. We can switch into the Vikavolt V and just Dede change and look for some Turbo Patches. Um, 
There's a turbo patch, all right, that's pretty good. I think I start off with the speed lightning here, draw some cards, there's a research. Um, turbo patch heads, no, it's still tails, all right. The crushing hammer, it's tails as well, all right, we're just gonna research here. Look for some more turbo patches to work with. And um, man, we're just drawing into all of our lightning energies. This is absolutely terrible. Um, geez, we're not drawing well at all. Um, this is weak to metal, so we can't one-hit KO it, unfortunately. And um, I think I scoop up that. Do they have any water in the disc? They do, so um, I think it's correct to net the Jirachi, I guess. Um, yeah, our draws are just really bad this game, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So I'm just going to go with the Paralyzing Bolt here. Um, make it so they can't play any items, and next turn we can look to one-hit KO this. But we're down so many energies, we're down our Coco Prism Star already as well. So we're not looking like we're in a good spot. Hopefully our opponent Marnies us, we do have a pretty big hand, we just netted a Jirachi. And um, yeah, there's uh, there's the training court from our opponent, um, attaching to the active. Um, ice dancing to the bench as well. Um, and our opponent is just really set up right now. Um, compared to us at least and uh, they're gonna hit the crowbat. All right, that's fine And um, hopefully we draw uh, that's that's not it um, We need a little bit uh, more than that. So I'm gonna commit to the active here bench the Jirachi um, See, I think I just bench two Jirachis now and um, just go with the super zap cannon here and Hopefully they with the knockout. No, they're guaranteed the knockout because they can uh, aqua report um, we need um, we need uh, some really good draws. There's a quick ball that's really good. Um, that can get us out another Vika Volt V. Um, there's a Turbo Patch. All right, good draws, good draws. Um, yeah, uh, we really uh, need a miracle here. Um, here's the Pokey Calm from our opponent. That's gonna get them um, an Inteleon V Max most likely, unless they don't want to V Max this turn. Um, nope, there's the Dede Change. All right. Uh, they'll pro they'll probably be digging for stamp. Uh, they net the zigzagoon. I'm probably gonna hit a Jirachi. Um, that's the reason I bench two, just in case we get stamped. Um, and they KO a Jirachi, we can have access to um, another Jirachi. Basically, um, that's the reason I bench two. And then there's the attachment to the active. There's the air balloon to the active as well. There's the quick ball from our opponent. Um, all right. There's the Suicune. Um, do they have the Inteleon VMAX, however, there's the research, all right. Um, they'll probably hit it here, I would imagine. Um, they won't, yep, there's the Inteleon VMAX. I was gonna say, they only played one comm, uh, no, two comms, actually. So they had a pretty likely chance of hitting it here. And um, they're gonna take three, no, they're gonna punch the Crobat, all right. Um, that's cool. Um, actually, now they're just a boss away from winning the game, so we need to win this turn. We need to hit some heads on turbo patches. We need to draw into our turbo patches. We just need a lot now. Um, and hopefully we do, in fact, get there. Um, and our opponent's taking their time choosing which prize cards to take. If we do lose this game, um, we didn't hit heads on turbo patches at all. Um, we didn't hit heads on hammers. This game was just pretty rough for us overall. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Probably start off with quick ball. Um, what do we get rid of here? Um, I think, uh, how many lightning? We have a bunch of lightning in the discard pile. So get rid of a Jirachi here. Um, we don't need that many. Get out a Vika Volt V. Um, two patches in deck. Um, bench a, bench the Vika Volt V here. Um, turbo patch, looking for a head. Oh man, this is, this is getting real scary. Um, really, really, really scary. So, Stellar Wish here. Um, there's a research. I think we take the research here because that gives us the most outs to draw. Um, and I think I like doing that. So, um, oh, we're down so much energy. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the research. Um, uh, man, if only if that Turbo Patch hit heads, we would be so much closer to winning the game. Um, man, I think we sort of just have to um, hope for the best. Um, net the active Jirachi, go into this Vika Volt V, probably just bench this Vika Volt V, I don't think there's any reason not to, and I'm just research. We have access to Training Court, so we still have access to Energy, which is pretty nice, and um, no Stamp to work with either. Oh man, Turbo Patch, 
Heads please, nope, we can't win the game this turn now, so we need to stamp our opponent right now. We need stamp. Give us stamp. There's the stamp. Um, so hopefully our opponent cannot win the game this turn. Um, stamp them to four cards. Hopefully they don't draw into a boss's orders. We tried our best. We had really rough draws this game. Um, training court back a lightning energy and um, hopefully draw into the last turbo patch next turn and hit heads on that. And I think we just have to leave the Jirachi in the active. Um, do we have a choice here? Um, no, I'm just going to pass. Um, we could have promoted the Crobat now that I think about it. Um, but all they needed was a net to KO uh, the Jirachi as well. So hopefully our opponent doesn't have boss here. If they have boss, um, it's all over for us. We tried our best. Um, I don't think uh, there was anything else I could have done. We just didn't hit any heads on those turbo patches. Um, which is really unfortunate. So not a whole lot we could have done about it. Our opponent's taking their time. Um, uh, they might not have it here. Um, let's see. Um, man. Um, normally we have matchup against Inteleon VMAX. We just did not flip heads. Um, which is really what we need with this deck. So I guess this is the reason Vikavolt V doesn't see much play anymore. It's just so flippy coin. Uh, it's just so coin reliant. Um, and when you hit tails, uh, your strategy sort of crumbles. There's the evolution instance from our opponent. That can thin out their deck. Um, they'll probably go KO KO here. Actually, um, there's the Capacious Bucket as well. Um, if they don't get the knockout, we, te we technically are still in this game. Um, this uh, They grab another Inteleon V. It looks like they're thinning the deck out. Um, they might not have it here, um, which would be super uh, good for us. Um, if they had the boss, they probably would have played it already. They would have KO'd our Dedene, KO'd, KO'd our Crobat. Um, so our opponent can KO, KO here. We have second stamp in deck. We can stamp them to one. Um, and there's the max bullet. Alright, we're still in this game. And they're gonna punch the, uh, Vikavolt V and set. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. Um, fair play from our opponent here. Um, do we promote, uh... Promote the Zigzagoon because we have the scoop of net, I guess. Um, there's a quick ball. Start off with that, I guess. Um, probably quick ball away the lightning because again we have access to training court anyways, so it doesn't really make a difference. Quick ball away the lightning energy here. Um, we have one turbo patch left in the deck. This is gonna be a little close. I'm not gonna lie. We need to hit the turbo patch off of this Marnie. Um, so I think we just go for it here. Um, actually we could Bird Keeper into the Jirachi and see, I, I actually think Bird Keeper, uh, playing Bird Keeper into Jirachi gives us, um, more outs, um, to, uh, the Turbo Patch, so I actually think I'm gonna Bird Keeper because we see 8 cards, um, and we're not guaranteed to switch off of the Marnie, um, so if we netted, went into the Jirachi Marnied, um, we're not guaranteed to switch, so I think I will just go with the Bird Keeper actually. Bird Keeper into the Jirachi. Yikes. No uh, Turbo Patch. Please give me Turbo Patch. Yes, there's a Turbo Patch. Can we flip a heads and win this game? Can we please not go all four tails on this Turbo Patch? Please give me heads. There's the heads. And we are able to come back and take a dub against Inteleon VMAX. This is why you don't give up, people. Um, <laughs> even if you draw really bad, uh, you definitely can still win the game. And we're going to Super Zap Cannon here. Take a dub against our opponent's Inteleon VMAX deck. Man, what a comeback um, from three tails on turbo patches. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, as always, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, and as always, uh, stay safe. Um, and remember to have a good day. Peace out.